Today we're going to be discussing aesthetic treatments uh, predominantly for the face, uh, in particular uh, botulinum neurotoxin. Botulinum toxin is something that's very misunderstood. People have a belief in the uh, public that it is some form of a poison, that it uh, is a snake venom or some dangerous extract. In effect, in effect it's a very scientifically formulated neurotransmitter blocker. All botulinum toxin does is it chemically disconnects the nerve from the muscle. So any muscle animation, a frown, a grimace, the facial shape that you create with the muscle which is inappropriate or which um, lends a character to your face which you dislike can be attenuated with the use of botulinum toxin. So we can block the signal getting through from the nerve to the muscle so that that frown that you create without thinking about it is now eliminated. Um, the goal of good botulinum toxin treatment is of course not to give you a masked face but to keep the animation and the expressiveness which you enjoy and which you like to convey and take away the stigmata that you don't like to convey. So if done with a practiced hand with a good eye one can achieve a serene focused uh, appropriate facial expressiveness without giving you the masked or odd shaped appearances that one sometimes sees in uh, environments like Hollywood etc where, where the treatment itself is waving a flag. To me as, a, as a, uh, a cautious and conservative clinician I want the botulinum toxin result to be so invisible that no one will walk, to, walk up to you in the street and say who does your Botox. If it's that visible it's been done incorrectly. The treatment must not announce itself. It must leave you with a natural expressiveness which is thoroughly you but not stressed, angry or tired. Once botulinum toxin has been injected, it takes a few days to deplete that junction between the nerve and the muscle of the neurotransmitter. Hence botulinum toxin results are not immediate. You will start seeing the changes within four days of your treatment and those changes will progress and mature up to roughly 14 days. The result that you have at two weeks should be the result you maintain for the ensuing four months. Botulinum toxin treatments are temporary. Um, they will last on, an, on average four months per treatment, uh, but that varies from patient to patient. I have some patients where it lasts three months, others where it lasts six to nine months. It's a very individual thing and depends on how quickly your body breaks down the neurotoxin. Um, botulinum toxin Treated patients need to employ fairly careful aftercare for the first six hours. We advise patients not to exercise vigorously, not to bend forward, not to uh, drink any medication or alcoholic beverages that could make their faces flush, um, and uh, not to wear, for example, a motorcycle or bicycle helmet because of the fact that all of these treatments can cause the Botox to shift or worsen any element of bruising or, or um, swelling that may, that may result from the treatment. After six hours post-treatment, nothing that you do or don't do is going to alter your result. The botulinum toxin is fixed to the synapses and will remain there for the four months until it's broken down.